First at midday, we are following breaking news for you. Police investigating a deadly shooting in a busy shopping area. That's right. The scene unfolding near a Walmart parking lot in Stonecrest. We want to get straight to 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates, who is live in DeKalb County for us this morning. So, Bobeth, what are police saying about this investigation? Well, they're giving us some details, but I wanted to tell us, you know, this the scene just cleared just about 10 minutes ago, and, but you can still see remnants of this incident behind me right here. A light pole that was hit and then further down the street, a utility box where the car actually landed to give you some perspective. This is Mall Parkway and the side entrance of the mall Walmart parking lot. Officials say this incident did not happen on Walmart property, but of course they did have this entire side entrance and this road shut down for hours. Now, officials say this all began around 7.30 this morning when they arrived on the 8400 block of Mall Parkway in reference a vehicle accident. But what they found was much more. They discovered the body of an adult female driver with multiple gunshot wounds. DeKalb PD says a witness reported seeing a male running from the vehicle after the collision, but they did not say they, but said they could not give us any additional details. But a witness 11 Alive spoke to say that two people were arguing and one of them pulled out a gun and shot the other. They say the victim was driving a gray car, attempted to get away, but lost control of the car, hitting a light pole, and then the car came to a rest on top of a utility box. Now, we did speak to a passerby about this ordeal, and they had advice for other domestic violence victims. Take a listen. We go through domestic violence every day. If you guys need help, seek help, you know, support system. And the police and the law enforcement is here for us. Again, this scene was cleared just about 10 minutes ago after the wrecker came to pick up that car. Now, officials also tell us that there may still have been a body in the car. They had it covered the entire time we are here. Now, again, they say they're continuing to investigate this incident and will provide more details as they become available. Live in DeKalb, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. All right, Bo Beth, thank you. The layer still peeling off of this story. And to always get the latest updates, download the free 11 Alive News app to get that breaking news sent directly to your phone.